So guys, we've got two cameras, one's locked off and Kit's going to be wandering around taking close-ups. Okay? Ready? Okay guys, let's get going with our wrist mobility. We'll follow along with me. Lots of elements to this. We'll just do six or seven of them this evening. So all this is all about warming up the wrists and preparing ourselves for load bearing when we do planks, etc. So fingers pointing to the front, press the elbows straight and you're just leaning the weight forward as much as you want to and then you load it up as much as you're happy with. Do a little drift of the shoulders left and right. Just explore slightly different angles and you're also loading up each wrist in turn by doing that. Good. Okay, next one, palms down but fingers pointing back to your knees. So this one really actively press the heel of the hand down into the floor, press the elbows straight, and then rock yourself back towards your heels so you feel the stretch come on, but make sure there's still some load through the hand, and then again do that little drift left and right. So as you warm up, you may find you can take a bit more load in each of the elements of this series. Good. Okay, next one turn to the back of the hand down, fingers pointing back towards your knees. Now allow your shoulders to go forward as much as you need to so that you can get the elbows pressed straight and then wind them up as much as you can so the inside of the elbow is pointing to your front. Keep the elbows straight as you go back and then the same little drift left and right. Make sure you keep breathing Excellent. Okay, come up, little shake up. All right, back of the hand down, fingers pointing together. This one, it doesn't matter where your elbows are oriented, but you want to press the elbows straight and keep them pressed straight as you have five or six goes of trying to make a fist. Not just curling the fingers, but really close the fist. Doesn't matter what speed you do this at, but you need to keep your elbows pressed straight. Good. Okay, and then switch to fingers pointing to the outsides. Exactly the same thing. Try and really load up the back of the wrist as much as you're comfortable with. Elbows pressed straight. Make a fist. Good. In this version, the forearms are wound up a little bit more than the first one, so you might get more of a pull through the forearms. Good. All right, shake out. I won't make you do the nasty one today. We'll go a bit gentle. So we'll just do a bit of hand work. So palms down again, fingers pressed straight, and all you're going to work on is coming up to first knuckle. Squeeze the fingers together and keep them pressed straight. Also try and keep the wrist straight as you come up to the first knuckle there. Just a couple more of those ones. might get a nice pull through the palms as you do that. Good. All right, and to finish, a bit of finger strength. So up on the fingertips, elbows press straight and try not to let the finger, fingers claw or buckle. So press the fingers into the floor and try and squeeze them together. Shuri, try them with the fingers a bit more spread apart. Good. All right, elbows are pressed straight, shoulders are working. Let's all try to go up onto our feet and hold it for a count of five. So five, four, press the fingers through, try and squeeze the fingers together. Three, two, keep breathing, and one, and rest. Good, and shake out. Okay, warming up the movement of the shoulder blades in protraction, so pulled apart and then retraction. So we're just moving between angry and happy cat. Elbows stay straight in both movements. And you can follow the scapular movement with a full movement of your spine, so flexion and extension. But the focus here is, here is on the movement of the shoulder blades. So let's do three or four more in each direction. When you're in the protracted position, so middle back pressed up to the ceiling, really actively press the heel of the hand into the floor. And when you come down, really try and use the rhomboids to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. 
I recommend that when you're doing the protracted position, you let the head hang forward, so it's following the curve of the spine. Keep breathing. And do quite an intense circuit tonight, so use this as a warming up your breathing as you're just doing this mobility work, and make sure you're breathing in through your nostrils. Good. All right, that'll do for that one. So grab your partner, grab yourself a stick, and spend 10 or 12 breaths each person in the chest opening stretch. Okay. Just going to give you a quick demonstration of a solo floor version if you don't have a stick or you don't have a partner. So all you want to do is sit down on your bum, reach the hands behind you with a palm down grip and don't be too ambitious about getting the hands really narrow. Lift the chest and then you can either just slide the hands away from you or you can slide your bottom away from you. Okay. Now the tendency is for the shoulders to do this in order to avoid the stretch. So breathe in and lift the chest and straighten the back and then roll the shoulders back and hold that position. To come out of it, use your ab strength to just curl you forward. So that's a good solo version. All right, so the main cues here are, are you using the in-breath every time to get the chest lifted and straighten your upper back? Partners, nice traction on the stick. And then do your best to roll the shoulders back towards your partner. So Andre, are you doing a contraction? Okay. Well, if you're in the stretch, then you want the shoulders to go the other way. You want them to be rolling back towards Merrin. That's it. Contraction here is to pull the stick forward and make sure you tell your partner when you're going to do that so they don't allow any movement. Good. You might get a nice pull all the way through the arms across the elbows. Big line of fascia under stretch there. Nice. Okay, Andre, just feel what I'm going to do manually in order to reposition your shoulder. So I'm putting the front forward and drawing the back down. Beautiful. Okay, now just remember what that felt like and you try and produce the movement under my hands. There it goes. Perfect and keep breathing. Big deep breaths into the top of the chest. All right guys, that'll probably do for the first partner. And if you are the partner, please lean back so you're pulling with straight arms. All right, you guys ready for the second person? Okay, so who's doing the stretch? Okay, so you just sit in front of Ben and reach behind you and hold a comfortable grip on the stick with a palm down grip. That's it. So Ben's going to hold the stick immediately inside your little fingers, put the comfort foot in position, and then the other one goes up in the middle back there. You want the ball of the foot right on the top of the shoulder blade. Okay, so Aaron, start to breathe, and the first thing to do is to actively press the stick back to Ben. And that's your true available flexibility. And now we're going to work on progressing that. So now, Ben, you follow that by drawing the stick back as you lean back. And Oren's focus is on making the very top of the chest move up and out as you breathe into it. Good work. A couple more breaths in that first initial stretch. That's looking great. OK, now try the contraction. Try and pull the stick straight forward for a count of five. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Big breath in, lift the chest again. Now Ben will start to draw on the stick again and you try and let him pull the shoulders back. Nice. Okay, now we'll do a little repositioning of this shoulder to roll it back. So just feel what I'm doing with my hands. Excellent. And stay there. And now you remember what that felt like and you try and do it yourself underneath my hands. Try and roll back. This one's actually sitting back further anyway. Nice. You can also use the lats to try and pull the shoulders down behind you. Good. A couple more breaths. And when you've had enough, just ask Ben to let you out nice and slowly. All right, guys, if you've done your stretch, 
just clear the sticks out of the way. The rest of the circuit is just you on a bit of floor space. You don't need anything else. Okay, so make sure you've got plenty of room. <clears throat> I'm going to spend the first 60 seconds or so just blocking through the circuit. So you just have a quick look at what the circuit is comprised of today. And then when I did this at home this morning, it came out at 22 minutes of the clock, no stop. Okay, so quite a long, intense circuit today. 25. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making it seem less horrible. Okay, we're going to do L-sits first. The first one is going to be your best effort to do an L-sit. If you can hold it for five seconds, you do that. But if you can't, then you're just going to work on this um, active legs, pressing the bum up. So the first one is open slather. Whatever you can do, you try and do it. Okay, then we're going to do four more where we all go up and we do 10 seconds with one leg, 10 seconds with the other leg, and I will call out the change mark. Okay, so that's the L-sit sequence we're going to do. Then we're going to go into our hollow work. The first one will be the open tuck. So that's feet start on the floor, full hollow, lower back down, and then hover the feet. Then we'll do the stretched out ones here. And then we'll do our tuck one. We'll do five seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds each go. Okay, that's open tuck. Open means the angle of the hip joint, but the knees are bent. We set the cues, lower back down, and then we try and hover the feet. Just a couple of millimetres, okay? Then we do our planks. We'll do five gymnastics planks. Then we'll do five elbow planks. And you've all been looking really good in those ones. Then we're going to go down and do the upper body of the arch work. We can start here and come up. We can go to here. If you're a little bit stronger, you can do the full movement out to the front. Then we're going to turn over and do our reverse plank work. And when we crafted this, we thought this would be a rest, but it wasn't. It's actually a really hard sequence. So just be advised of that. We'll do our reverse planks. And then we're going to go down and do our lower body hollow work. And that may or may not be the end. We'll see how we go. OK, so I'm sure you've put all that into your memory banks. So let's get started. Arch. Did I say hollow? Sorry. Yeah, it's going to be an arch. All right. Now, every single element is five goes and 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. OK, not a lot of rest. All right. So show me what is going to be your first go at an L sit. What version are you going to do? 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. <laughs> That's right, Craig. OK, are you ready? The clock will be on when everyone is up. So go now. Show me your best L sit. Now, if you're up, work on pressing the legs straight. Press down harder. Craig, try and straighten those knees a little bit more. Excuse me. That's 10 seconds. Keep going. But don't stop altogether. If your le legs are down, keep the bum up. Four seconds to go. Ben's going to make it. And stop. Good work. Shake out the legs. That's number one. OK, so the next one is just bum off the floor and then one leg up and I'll tell you the change. Go now. Up you go. Bum up. Legs are straight. And just focus on lifting one heel as high off the floor as you can. Three seconds to go. Now switch the legs. Now the leg that you've raised, actively press it straight. And the other one, try not to press it into the floor. And stop. That's number one. We've got three more of those. Good. Okay, three second warning. So set the straight legs, get yourself in position and up you go. One leg's up. It doesn't matter if you start with the same one each time or you alternate. Doesn't matter. Four seconds to go and switch legs. Try and keep both feet pointed hard. Both knees press straight. Keep pressing down. Don't let your bum sag and stop. Good. That's number two. If you're getting fatigued, you can always go back to just feet on the ground. OK, next one. Go now. Up you go and try lifting one leg. If you're lifting it, keep it pressed straight. Keep the toe pointed and switch legs. Good. Keep pressing down and keep breathing. Breathe in through your nostrils and breathe out. And rest. OK, we've got one more. One more and then we go on to the hollow work. OK, three seconds. Go now. Up you go. Try not to wait around by the end of the rest period. 
That's five seconds gone. Redouble your efforts. Your arms will get a rest in a minute. So press hard. Switch legs. Good work, Merrin. Try and use some abdominals to help hollow you over and get the hips up. Three seconds to go. Keep breathing and rest. Okay, lie back. First one is the open tuck hollow. So show me the leg position to start with, please. Arms next to your hips. Okay, hollow yourself up as high as you can. So just curl up there, Cherie. Is your lower back flat on the floor? And now try and just hover the feet a couple of millimeters off the floor. You're halfway there. Recurl, come up further. Try and walk the fingers towards your feet. Four seconds to go and keep breathing. Rest, that's number one of five of this version. Good. All right, let's set the leg position. So feet are on the floor, legs are squeezed together. Up you come, so maximum hollow. Pull the navel in and flatten the lumbar spine. And now just try and hover the feet. Tiny little movement. We want to keep the open angle at the hip joint. Redouble your curling. Try and come up further. You've got five seconds to go. Excellent. And rest. That's number two. Three and a half minutes gone of 22 minutes. All right, are you ready for the next one? Show me the leg position. Squeeze them together. Up you come. So maximum curl up. All the abs working. Pull the navel down. And now hover the feet if you can. Good. Squeeze the legs together. Check again that your lumbar spine is flat on the floor. Really try and pull the lower abs straight down into your body. Beautiful, Cherie. And rest. That's number three, I believe. We've got two more of these. Okay, up you come again. So set the hollow shape. Lumbar spine is flat. And now try and hover the feet. You might care to just hover one foot if you're not able to keep the lower back jammed on the floor. Curl up higher. Try and pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Keep breathing. Two seconds to go. And rest. Nice work. One more of these. Okay, set the position. So maximum curl up. Lower back jammed on the floor. And now hover the feet. Good. Recurl. The most important cue is, is your lower back jammed on the floor? Good. Curl up a little bit higher. Five seconds to go. And rest. Nice work. Okay, the next version of the hollow is the straight-legged one. So stretch your legs out straight and put your fingers up on the thighs and curl up. Off you go. So if you're doing it with the legs straight and you can keep the back down, then it's not just looking straight, they're actively straight. Use the quads to press the knees straight. Squeeze the legs together using the adductors. Point the toes as hard as you can. Curl up a little bit higher and rest. That's number one. Good. Okay, next one we focus on breathing. So set the leg position. Pull the navel down and help tilt the pelvis and up you come. So maximum curl up, curl up even further and you're immovable. You're not going to go down at all. Take a breath in through your nostrils and breathe it out. Take another breath in and breathe it out. One more big breath in and breathe out and rest. Good. That's number two. Three more of these. Okay, leg position, lumbar spine flat, up you come. So maximum curl up, curl up as hard as you can. Press straight, point the toes hard. All right, now lift one heel, two millimeters off the floor and hold it, press it straight, recurl. Keep going, remember which one leg, leg you used and rest. Good, we've got two more of these. Okay, set the leg position, press straight, point and squeeze, up you come, so big curl up, flatten the lumbar spine, and now lift the other heel, just a couple of millimetres off the floor, not a big distance. Now press it straight, recurl, is your lower back flat on the floor, and are you still breathing? Andre, curl up higher than that, good, and rest. Okay, who can guess what's coming next? Last one, last one of this version. Okay, set the legs, up you come. Make sure your lower back is jammed flat on the floor. 
Curl up even higher. Okay, try and hover both heels off the floor. Good. If you can't keep the lumbar spine down, just do one. Recurl. Pull the navel in more. You've got four seconds to go. Good work, Mick. And rest. Nice. Okay, we've got five more hollows and they're the closed tuck one. So kick the legs up into position. Legs are bent, heels at the buttock. All right, up you come. So much easier in terms of keeping the lower back down. You're not really experiencing the weight of the legs. So really focus on maximum curl up. Curl up higher than that. Make sure you're breathing. Five seconds to go. We'll change the arm position in the subsequent ones. And rest. Good, that's number one. Is anyone getting any cramping happening yet in their abs? Yep. Excellent. Okay, next one. Up you come. So set the leg position. Maximum curl up. Still check, of course, that your lumbar spine is jammed flat on the floor. Curl up higher. All right, now arms up above your face. Recurl. And now arms out above your head. Recurl. Three seconds to go. Curl up again and rest. Good effort. That's quite hard, that one, isn't it? With the arms out near the ears. Three second warning, are you ready? Go now. So up you come, maximum curl. Check that your lower back is down. Okay, now arms up above the face for five seconds. Recurl and breathe. Big breath in. All right, now arms out above the ears. Move slowly and with awareness. When you uncurl, you stop and recurl. Two seconds to go and rest. Good work, guys. We've got two more hollows and then we're on to planks. Okay, legs in position and up you go now. So maximum hollow. If you're getting a bit more fatigued, simply bring the thighs closer to your chest. Okay, arms up above the face. Recurl, curl up even higher. Hold it as you slowly take the arms out next to the ears. Recurl, is your lower back still flat? And rest. Nice work. One more. Set the leg position. You're going up now. Okay, this is the last hollow, guys. Really, really work hard at curling up. Okay, arms up above the face. Recurl. Arms up above your head. Recurl. Three seconds. Now bring the arms back above the face and curl up higher. Keep going, keep going, and stop. Okay, turn over, we're doing gymnastics planks. Ready, three second warning, you're going now. Up you go. So this is an arm plank. Okay, now your abs are a bit fried, I hope. So really focus on the arm pressing down. Are your elbows pressed straight? And are you pressing your middle back up to the ceiling? Press down more, Oren, get the height. Keep going, three seconds to go. Don't hold your breath and rest. That's one of five. Sheree, if you're getting tired, just go to your knees. Okay? All right, three second warning, up you go now. This is number two. Okay, now imagine someone's pressing under your chest and you're lifting up or pressing up away from that hand. Another way to think of it is a hand hovering just above your shoulder blades or middle back and you're pressing up to it and it keeps drifting up, so you've got to keep pressing up higher. And rest. That's number two. Good work. If you're getting fatigued and you can't press, go to the knees. Okay, two second warning, go now. Up you go. So press the arms, press the middle back up to the ceiling. Use the abs to produce the hollow shape. Ben, you've got to press up more. That's 10 seconds gone. Squeeze your glutes and do a strong tail tuck with your glutes. Good. Sheree, hold that position, but try and drop the hips a bit more. That's it and rest. Good work. Was that number three? Yep. Okay, two more. And you're going now. Up you go. So keep pressing hard. I know you're getting fatigued. Press. It's the second last one on the straight arms. Press up more. Do not let yourself sag between the shoulders. Ten seconds to go. That's much better, Ben. Good. Andre, go to your knees so you can get the shoulder blades pressed up. That, that's the shape you're after. Excellent. And rest. Good. One more of these. This one we focus on the breathing. Okay, two seconds. Up you go now. This is the last one on the straight arm. So really fight to keep pressing up 
out of those shoulders. Good run. Press up higher. Use the abs to help the hollow shape. Squeeze the glutes and tuck the tail. Press out through your heels so your quads are working to press the knees straight. Knees straight, Craig. Good work. And rest. Okay, next we've got five elbow planks or forearm planks. Three seconds and go now. Up you go. So, exactly the same shape being made. It's just a slightly different sensation I find pressing up from an elbow support. Marin, that form is beautiful. Good, Andre. Drop the hips a little bit and tuck. Squeeze the glutes firm. Every fibre of your glutes is working to squeeze hard. And rest. That's number one. Guys, if you're getting fatigued, go to the knees. You must be able to press up and you must be able to maintain a tail tuck. Okay, next one, go now. 20 seconds. We're almost done with the arm support work. Oh no, I forgot about the reverse planks. They're coming up later. Okay, press up further and hold that height. Do not let yourself sag. It's hard work pressing up. Five seconds to go. Press down more, John. Press up and rest. Good. Was that number two? Yep. How are we going, guys? Not a lot of chatter today, I notice. Okay, up you go again. 20 seconds. Okay, I'm restarting the clock for Oren, who wasted five seconds there. Go again. 20 seconds is on. Press up. Squeeze those glutes firm. Tuck the tail with the glutes. Press out through your heels if you're still up on the feet. Squeeze the legs together. Good, Cherie. Press with the left shoulder. Press up more. Doing really well. Two seconds and rest. Good work. We've got two more of these. Good work. Okay, two seconds and go now. Mentally go around the body with all the different cues to distract yourself. Press up, hollow with the abs, pull the navel up, squeeze with the glutes, tuck the tail with the glutes, squeeze the legs together. If you're still up on straight legs, press out through your heels. Three seconds to go. Andre, go to the knees because your bum's up. And rest. Good. We got one more. And there was a lot of letting out of air at the end of that one, which suggests no breathing in the 20 seconds. So up you go. Concentrate on breathing. This is the last one. Come on, guys. Really fight for it. Your arms will get a rest in a minute. That's good. Anthony, lift the hips away from the floor fraction and tuck there. But good position in the upper body. Excellent. Chris, drop the hips. Good, James. Two more breaths and then it's over with. Another breath and rest. Okay, you're flat on your face now. Go down on your front, arms down next to your hips. We're doing the upper body work on the arch. All right, we're going now. So draw the shoulder blades together. Roll the shoulders back. Try and reach your hands back towards your heels and breathe. Five seconds to go. Pull the shoulder blades together and roll the shoulders back and rest. That's number one of five. Now we're also going to squeeze the glutes throughout the upper body movement. So squeeze the glutes and now off you go. Pull the shoulder blades together, roll the shoulders back. Try and reach the arms towards your heels. Try and press your chest out to your front. It's a nice long movement as you arch up. Squeeze the glutes and keep breathing. James, that looks fabulous. Good work. And rest. That's number two. Three more of these. Guys, come up really slowly, particularly if you feel it mainly in the lower back. Okay, off we go again. So lift up slowly, draw the shoulder blades together and roll the shoulders back. Breathe. Try and breathe comfortably in through your nostrils and relax out. Good. Think of the stick stretch and the rolling the shoulders back. We're doing the same thing here. John, that's really improving. And rest. Good work. Two more of these. I'll give some cues to change the arm positions this one. Okay, up you go. So let yourself come up. Make sure all the muscles either side of your spine are active. Pull the shoulders blades together. Roll the shoulders back. All right, now try and make your arms like an aeroplane wings out to the side. Keep the shoulder blades pulled together. Three seconds to go. Try not to lower down as you do that arm and rest. Good. Okay, we got one more, I think. Was that number four? 
Yeah, okay, let's all do arms out next to our ears. Up you go. And lift up. We'll do a full upper body arch. Good work. So still trying to pull the shoulder blades together. Try and reach the arms right next to your ears. Five seconds to go. Keep breathing. Working hard now and rest. Okay, roll over. We've got five reverse planks and then it's almost done. So three second warning, we're up now. So let's cue the glutes. Everyone drop the hips a couple of millimeters, re-tuck the tail and then keep that tail tuck held on as you drive the heels through to get the hips up. Good, Chris, your hips are on the ground. Lift the hips up. Five seconds to go. <laughs> Good work. And rest, that's number one. Good. Four more of these and then just a bit more arch work. Okay, up you go now. This is number two. So drop the hips, re-tuck the tail, keep the tail tuck jammed on as you press the heels down. Good. Squeeze the glutes hard, press the legs straight, point the toes hard. Cherie's got a beautiful toe point, so does Craig, very nice. Four seconds to go and rest. That's number two. Cherie, you might want the hands just a bit further back. It's actually under the shoulder. Okay, three seconds to go and we're up now. So maintain all the cues for the lower body, but now let's focus on the upper body. Press the center of your chest up to the ceiling, trying to press up out of your shoulders. Now think of the stick stretch where you're lifting the chest to straighten the upper back and roll the shoulders back. Nice, and rest. Good, good form from everyone. That's much better, Chris. Two more of these. Ready, go, now. So keep pressing up. Your arms have had a rest, so really press the elbows straight. Press the chest up to the ceiling. Make your upper back as long as you can without arching into the lower back, and then roll the shoulders back. Five seconds to go, and make sure you're still breathing. Andre, that looks lovely. And rest. Good. Andre, just a bit more chin to chest so your head doesn't lag behind the spine. Okay, last one, guys. Up you go now. It's just 20 seconds. Good. Again, go round the body. Are your legs pressed straight? Are you pointing the toes, squeezing the legs together? Tucking the tail, squeezing the glutes. Press the chest up more, Craig. You're trying to get lift up of the back away from the floor. Five seconds to go. Good, try to keep your face relaxed so you open the throat and breathe. Okay, rest. Roll over onto your chest. We're just doing five lower body arches. Let's all do it today with the arms stretched right out above you. Okay, here are the cues. Squeeze the glutes, tilt the hips and pull the lower belly off the floor. Press your legs away from you and then you raise the legs. So Cherie, you do that beautifully but there's a lot of lower back involvement. We're trying to get the glutes to do a bit more of the work. So press the legs away and stop. Okay, that's number one. All right, so set the leg position. Squeeze the glutes, tilt the hips and pick the belly off the floor. And now press the legs away from you as hard as you can. So good visualization is imagine someone's holding your ankles and they're pulling the legs out. And then you think about lifting. So that's more glutes now, Cherie, than just lower back. Mm -hmm. Five seconds to go. Are you breathing? Are your glutes active? And rest. Good, that's number two. Three to go. Okay, set the position. So squeeze the glutes, tilt the hips and pick the belly up. Press the legs away from you. That should also press your knees straight. Squeeze the legs together. They couldn't be pulled apart if someone tried to. re the glutes. Press the legs away from you. Five seconds to go, beautiful run, and rest. Good. Was that number two or number three? That's three. That's three. Okay, we've got two more to go. If you want to make it a whole body arch now, you can. So away you go, but still please really focus on the pressing the legs away from you so you're sure that the glutes are working. Now take a breath in and breathe it out. Take another breath in, you've got five seconds, and breathe it out. re the glutes. One more breath, and rest. Good. Okay, we've got one more. 
Okay, three second warning, so off you go now. If you're trying to do the whole body version, then you need both ends of the body to be lifted evenly off the floor. So Craig, a bit more leg if you can. Cherie, let's bring the legs together. So all the muscles working. John, legs up more. Keep breathing, guys. You've got five seconds to go. Nice, Merrin. Beautiful line. And rest. Good. Who wants to finish off with a couple of crocodiles? Sure. Okay. All right, then. This will be the sequence. You'll start in your best monkey gym plank. So nice long spine. You'll pull yourself down. And when everyone's down, we'll hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, you could do it from your knees. So the crocodile is literally just the bottom of a push-up position. All right, Cherie's going to watch for a demonstration. So let me see good form from everyone. So nice plank position. Now do the cue where you pull the shoulders down with the lats away from your ears. Now pull yourself down to the crocodile. And the clock is on now. 10 seconds here. Now, all the cues for the plank. Are you tucking the tail, pressing out through the heels, moving your chest forward, and collapse? Good. That's number one. Let's do five of these. So up you go again. Show me your best monkey gym plank. I'll just hold it here when I see everyone in good shape. Good. All right. Everything is active. Tuck, pull the belly in. Now pull the shoulders down with the lats. Pull yourself down to the bottom. You're pulling the elbows next to your ribs and holding there. So you're suspended between the toes and your palms. Actively press the palms into the floor. Three seconds to go and rest. Good. Oh, nice press out there, Merrin. That was beautiful. If you want to challenge yourself and press out after the static hold, by all means do that. Okay, up we go again. Guys, don't dilly dally. Get up in the plank and we can get it over with. All right, pull the shoulders down with the lats. Pull yourself down to the crocodile. Down you go. Good. Now squeeze the glutes, tuck the tail, move your chest forward. This is monkey gym alignment. Straight upper back. Three seconds and rest. Great work. Two more of these and I'm not really giving you any rest. So up you go again. Monkey gym plank. Okay. Squeeze the glutes, navel in, squeeze the legs together, pull the shoulders down and pull yourself to the bottom. Pull yourself and hold. Good, pull the navel in, press the chest forward, press your hands into the floor. Got five seconds to go. Might have read the timer there wrong. And stop. Good work. That's awesome, Merrin. Okay, we've got one more. Should we do 15 seconds on the last one? Yeah. Okay, up you go. Up you go. When I say we, I mean you, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, pull the shoulders down with the lats. Pull yourself down to the bottom position. Okay, 15 seconds starts now. Now squeeze the glutes and tuck the tail. If you're up on the feet, press out through the heels. Quads are working. Press your chest forward without losing your tail tuck. Five seconds to go. Keep going and don't hold your breath and collapse. Good work, guys. Very nice. So I can't tell you the total time because I had to restart the clock for someone. But it was around the 22 minute mark. Good work. Okay, no worries. Welcome.